This was today in Anderson, South Carolina, where this storm is headed and we are supposed to be getting snow and ice and maybe power outages. You see the black carbon dust and the microwaves and the chemtrails and the microwaves expanding the chemtrails. The ice nucleating uh, methods It's so obvious in our face virtually every single day here that something is drastically wrong. See the microwaves, all the ripples, black, white, black, white, black, white. That's not how the sky used to be, but that's how it is an awful lot now. They have been dumping black carbon dust, which you will see. Um, yeah, this is the last week, just the last week, all of these videos, just the last week, the, they certainly have picked up on their aerosol spraying. You will see in this video, the pulsating frequencies when the camera goes in and out of focus. You will see all of the black carbon dust dumped into our atmosphere. That's what you're seeing right there. That's what you're seeing right there. This was two nights ago. This is our sky. So when I, in posting the video that I just did, showing the microwaves, the extremely low frequencies, the high frequency heating. Uh, they're throwing everything at this storm. But the black carbon dust, man, whoa! And we're breathing it in. We're breathing this. Look at that. So the... It, and you just saw the camera going in and out of focus. Pulsing frequencies help them to scatter all of these aerosols in the atmosphere. Some people claim that that's coal ash. I claim it's black carbon dust because there's an awful lot of documents, government documents, military documents, papers coming out of universities. The use of black carbon dust for weather modification. Now, no one talks about the sky here. By the way, um, very often they can put payloads in clouds and release that payload via frequencies and it will release whatever kind of uh, aerosol, uh, whatever kind of heavy metal, chemical, biological that they want to. So you can see all of these, the gray within that chemtrail. Oh, there's a big mi mixture of everything going on. It is, oh, this is a long, I actually had to uh, edit that. That was a very long pulse. So you see the camera out of focus and then it whoop, suddenly comes into focus. Now, these pulsating frequencies are incredibly dangerous for all life. And all life is saturated in pulsating frequencies now. The pink, I believe, is lithium. Lithium is used not only as a drug, but they use lithium to create artificial cloud. Looked at the lithium. Oh, it's heartbreaking to see these guys having to fly in all of this crap. 
Now, you would think that people would be stopping dead in their tracks saying, what the hell is going on with this guy? Uh-uh. No. No. Nothing. Nothing. Every time I have pointed out skies like this to people, this is at the track where I walk, so I'm breathing in all of this crap. But when I point it out, it's like they can't be bothered. I mean, this looks like a tremendous fire. Our sky here in Anderson, South Carolina, very frequently looks this obscene. And no one, I don't know, maybe people are talking about it at dinner parties. I don't go to them, um, uh, but I doubt it. I really doubt it. Everybody's just walking around. Now it's Christmas time, so of course, you know, the Christmas music in the, in the stores, the shopping. Oh, they can't be bothered. This is Christian territory. Are you kidding? Christmas. Doesn't matter that Christ wasn't born on December 25th. Um, we'll celebrate it anyway. And we're going to celebrate it in a materialistic way. That's just what Christ would want. So this is another day. You can see the microwaves. Um, we've had two days of pure white. And then you have the breaking of class. I saw on a website, and it was a local uh, Chico news site. And it said, broken clouds. You know, those little boxes with the temperature. and Broken clouds. Oh, broken clouds. What the hell are broken clouds? Now we have broken clouds. This was three days ago. Preparation for the storm. The microwaves are so visible now in our sky. But even if they weren't visible, I could tell you that they are using them intensely now just by how I'm feeling and when it's when it's a this is like a, a, a night where not much is happening at all what color is that sky it was green it was like a layer of green and then it becomes orange and then you see pink there are the frequencies again. People aren't saying anything about any of what's going on here. I guess, I guess what, you know, I, I was thinking on one of my walks, the pink elephant, the pink elephant in the room, you know, that dysfunctional family. that never acknowledges the pink elephant. That uh, metaphor for something significant and obvious taking place, but nobody wants to acknowledge it. We have a pink elephant in the sky all the time, all the time, and everybody just ignores it. Uh, I feel like I'm living in a dysfunctional family because the family unit, well, most families in our country are dysfunctional and most people never resolve the dysfunction. They just pass it on generation to generation. Um, and At most of the time, I just feel like I'm living in a dysfunctional family where here we are being genocided. Here we are being killed off. Here we are. Uh, many of that's another pulse. Another pulse. Okay, so 
we are saturated in dangerous microwaves. People I know here are very, very sick. I try to tell them that they're sitting in Wi-Fi all day long, so that could be making things worse for them, or it even could be causing a lot of what they are experiencing, but they don't know, uh-uh, I'm not going to pay attention to that. And I sure don't want you to bring it up again. The pink elephant. We're just going to ignore it now, the Wi-Fi. And you're going to make up all of these excuses for how you're feeling. But you're not going to ever acknowledge the truth. No, we're going to deny that, ignore it, sweep it under the rug, so the pink elephant in, in families could be alcoholism, could be um, abuse, could be but nobody wants to acknowledge it. They dance around it. They go under the pink elephant. They pretend it's not there. Let's pretend it's not there. Let's pretend it is not there and just go on like everything's okay. When all members of the family know nothing's okay. Hey, but you can survive it. So you just keep doing what you did yesterday. You do it again tomorrow. You're like robots. Sometimes I feel like I'm living in a malignant narcissistic family. And I suppose we're all the truth tellers in, in the malignant narcissistic family. Collectively speaking, you, you can take one family unit and then from that family unit, just expand it out into the greater society. And that's your society. It starts at the family. The family represents the greater society. And when you have a majority of dysfunctional families, you're going to have a dysfunctional society. And when you have an awful lot of malignant narcissists, you're going to have a very sick society. We're the truth tellers in this uh, collective family that we have that is so disturbed. And we get scapegoated. We get called crazy when we speak the truth. Look at all of these microwaves that you are seeing. Are you paying attention to what you're seeing? You are seeing a saturation of intense microwaves that affect all life, all life. But these, you know, now we have skies that have so many different arrangements of clouds. all of the ripples but I do want you to pay attention to that cloud right there which I'll get to but this thing looked like I, I didn't know it I didn't know what it was like it looked like some whipping up of cream or it was so bizarre looking. Huh. Now you're talking about an awful lot of microwaves. But look at the different composition of all of these clouds in one area. They have so drastically affected our atmosphere. Now when you alter the atmosphere, when you alter natural processes, that has a ripple effect on 
all life. All life. Look at this. This black feathery thing. I, I, it couldn't be more obvious that something is terribly wrong. But no, what you have to do is dance around the pink elephant. Well, I've never been good at that. And I want the pink elephant to be addressed and to be resolved. Because that's the only way that you can get to anything healthy. So, remember that cloud that I told you to pay attention to? This is it. This is it. I don't know. Maybe 10 minutes later from when it looked like I just showed you in that picture, and I'm going to show it again. 10 minutes later, it's on fire. That's the ionization and then the microwave effect on the metals. I don't know, I'm guessing. But look at how the grid pattern below it, the black in it, and this, it, it, I mean, now the clouds don't move here. Below it, we've got pink clouds. The clouds do not move. They just They just morph into different shapes. They get set aflame. And then you can watch the flame literally go through this artificial cloud. And then it spreads upwards. Yeah. We are the truth tellers. And the truth teller in a malignant narcissistic family gets destroyed. Destroyed. That's that cloud. This is what it now looks like. It never moved. It just suddenly went to flame. And of course, this is another thing. We're going to ignore this. Or what? If we can't ignore it, then we're going to call it something else, of course. We've got to call it global warming. We've got to clone, uh, call it climate change or all that black stuff. Well, that's all of the pollution. We're never going to face the truth. No. We're going to make it everything but. When you have a majority of the population doing that, you can't have... You can't have a society that's healthy. You have a very sick society. And that's exactly what we have. Another pulse. All of these frequencies. Now that's a saturation of dangerous microwaves. All of the black crap. Yep, that's what it looked like. That's what it became. We have glowing clouds. You point them out, which I've done. And it's like people look and then they, they're not even interested. They're not even curious. nothing. We're surrounded by the walking dead. Surrounded by sick, disturbed people. And they will manipulate and they will gaslight and they will do everything to make sure that they keep the truth at bay. I don't like living in a sick society. I have a lot of problems with it when I'm faced with so many people who don't want to do anything to try to make it healthy. So yeah, lots of black carbon dust. Now we've got that storm coming. 
Have a good night.